as I said guys, this one, um, you know, before you dry it, you can always, um, in the brick wall texture first before you dry it, okay? And now, where else I'm going to use my brick wall stencil? Maybe some right here, maybe? Let me move the tag away. This one again. So this one get tougher again. Water and use my finger there to smash it. dry so quick because it, you know how well being in Goho guys sorry guys sometimes I do quiet, I know you guys like me to talk, you know, sometimes I have a lot of things going on in my mind, you know, sometimes I do talk like non-stop, If you want to um, add more color, you can add it now if you want before you dry it up. But um, no, I'm not gonna add the color more. I think I like it this one because it will um, match the this look, the soft look. Okay, I'm gonna use my heat too.
guys, I'm going to mask um my use my stencil here again. I'm gonna use a little bit lightly, not too thick. So I can use like like that, guys. Really lightly. Let me add more water. Because I don't want to cover all the the background wood there, guys. Mm. I think that's it. So I'll get a little bit of texture, look, guys. Not sure you guys can see the detail there. I just love it, guys. See, you don't have to make um the the you know, like the texture like too thick. You get a little bit, you know, effect. This guy did the brick wall down here. That's my favorite spot. Thing I'm going to do maybe a little bit right there more or random um there. It's just basically use the leftover modeling paste here, guy. gonna be like really fade color not really see that I love this guy the new technique that I found hee <laughs> hee guy so happy with it guy so I'm just gonna you direct this for cleaning mm. and I'm gonna use some a little bit of corner there guys not sure you guys can see the texture Look, my hand just touched that one. I haven't used a hit to yet, guys. I don't want to use the heat too because it's wet and then this one is kind of get bubble, guys. I just blow the texture, guys. Oh my gosh. At first, before I started this, I thought, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do, guys. And now I'm so thankful, guys. Okay, now here I just use a modeling paste there and it gets a little bit white there. 
I think I'm going to do all the way on a frame so that not get too uh, when this look so it go match with the this layout it's all the rest of the paper so I'm going to use the brush here guys because my finger not
guys I thought I can have finished but I'm gonna because I don't like this dress look over there it's kind of like not match really well on this one so I use white acrylic paint and water there or is it paint or the the brick wall here guys so I want to get rid of yeah The, um, this thread look that I have, you see, guys, you guys can tell that it's not that look anymore. So now I want to use whitewash here more, so it's kind of get the same look all over the page, guys. Okay? Okay, see that so now I'm going to do with all the rest of my brick wall there guys that they're gonna watch the color between the brick wall I can move this one out of the way So it's kind of get this um, faded look guys, I just love this guy. gonna do the rest of the around uh, the layout here guys get a little bit more acrylic paint oh not a little bit that a lot guys I finally finished this one no more ad stuff okay guys <laughs> I need to retake this photo again guys because I actually okay guys I'm gonna paint this one in white too guys send all this is you know whitewash so I don't want this one to be too much stand out color and now let it air dry and that's it I'm done so now no more add stuff no more do anything guys now I will uh, post it uh, photos of the project on my blog so you guys can check it out and if you got interested in buying this door if you don't mind the burning I have been telling you guys that um, this 
wood is kind of cheap well it half of the price that you to pay from to make a the customize this one is really fine wood but you're not gonna see the grain the wood grain there this one you see the wood grain but it's not good cut because it curl is as I told you before it have to stay flat it in order not to cut to all the way to and not burn much this one a little bit burn you guys can see it. this one is smoke burn there so if you guys interested these doors I will post on sale I will sell like um, 99 cent each so I will sell set up to 199 okay guys and I will throw in the I don't know where I put it uh, the, the keyhole there two of them so guys so I think I can see that you're not gonna see the color when you paint it okay guys so if you guys interested if you don't mind the smoke you guys can get this layout or uh, these doors let me go grab this uh, keyhole here I will, I will be right back guys okay guys I'm back so this can this is gonna be the sh um, shipboard okay guys not wood so as uh, you guys can see that I hammer this with to make the texture so this is shipboard so you guys can make like a uh, double doors there and then you did I decide to make it fit on this door okay so da da you guys can make a layout for two door or one door guys actually this one after I could my message guy it the wood stay flat do not color I didn't think I can tell it or not anyway guys you guys check out my store if you guys are interested to buy this door and the flower pretty much that it lady thank you lady for keep watching my video guys I will put this photo up my uh, project on my vlog don't forget to check it out guys thank you lady for keep watching my video guys i'll see you guys later bye